Prominent South Carolina attorney Alec Murdoch has been surrounded by a series of mysterious tragedies this year, starting with the double murder of his wife and son this summer. New this morning, one of Murdoch's attorneys says that authorities consider Alec a person of interest in that case in an interview with Fox Carolina News, though his attorneys continue to deny he had any involvement in the murders. In September, adding to the mystery, Murdoch said he was shot in the head on a rural road. Law enforcement now believes Murdoch conspired with Curtis Eddie Smith to kill him as part of an insurance fraud scheme. To be clear, does your client maintain utter and complete innocence in this case? Go ahead. I didn't shoot him. Are you innocent of everything? I'm innocent. Yeah. If I have shot him, did he did. He's alive. Smith now telling his side of the story. Smith tells me he had no idea what Murdoch's plans were when he agreed to meet a man he called his close friend on a remote road in Hampton County, South Carolina. He says Murdoch showed up with a gun. And he's standing like this. He said, you going to shoot me? I said, no. He said, well, you just got to do it. And he, he made his move like, like this, you know. And I just grabbed his arm. You, you took the gun. I shoved it behind him, between me and him. And it went off. The gun went off. Did it hit him? Did the bullet no. hit him? No. So that, I, that, that story there's where no he got... There's no blood on me. There's no blood on him. He didn't get shot in the head. No. We bounced off his car and I kind of made a move to get the gun and he hit the dirt, you know, and... What percent are you positive that he didn't get shot? If you could put a percentage on it. Thousand. There's no, he didn't get shot. Murdoch's lawyers declined to comment. They've maintained their client suffered a head wound. The Hampton County Sheriff's incident report initially said Murdoch did not have any visible injury, but a corrected version released shortly after says there was a visible injury. Murdoch's lawyers say Smith took advantage of a man in the throes of a decades-long opioid addiction who was grieving the unsolved murders of his wife and son. They claim Murdoch wanted to end his life so his surviving son could collect on a $10 million life insurance policy. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.